A veteran of UK-US relations, Joe Biden knew how to make him and him and him feel special, turning on the charm, whatever their political stripe. But testing times ahead for Boris Johnson in Leicester today, Enough. facing the prospect of another regeneration of the special relationship as Brexit means Britain is trying to work out its new place in the world. The Prime Minister of the United Kingdom is always going to work very, very closely with uh, whoever is the, the Prime Minister, of, uh, the President of the United States. And uh, that's going to be the case, uh, whatever the outcome. And I have every confidence that the, in, the, in the, the checks and balances of the American Constitution. Whitehall on the cusp of a new US president. Everybody holding their breath. Boris Johnson looks set to lose a personal ally in the White House, but this could be the moment to reset the special relationship based on values rather than personalities. The United Kingdom believes in the United Nations, the Paris Climate Change Accord, the rule of law, the World Health Organization, and we're probably about to get somebody in the White House who says they do too. But there'll be a big early challenge for Boris Johnson. He needs to show he's a good global citizen. But could Brexit mess that up? We may well have a new US president who sees Brexit more through the eyes of Ireland, something Britain is acutely aware of. Biden, we know, is proud of his Irish roots, is absolutely uh, opposed to anything that could jeopardise the Good Friday peace process. I suspect the government will be more inclined to compromise on some of these difficult issues where uh, they're currently reluctant to do so. Knowing just how much time Joe Biden has spent researching his Irish roots, Irish officials told Sky News that if relationships break down over Brexit, they hope he could pay a symbolic visit to the Irish border. Through many, many presidential elections, there, there has been an Irish uh, imprint, uh, an Irish um, influence, and this election is no different. The last thing we need now is a no-deal Brexit that would just add significantly to that type of negative shock, uh, which people could do without now. Out of Westminster, political leaders showing more excitement at the potential for change going on stateside. I hope it, the outcome of the election uh, does see uh, the United States of America uh, retake uh, that important position of leadership on these big issues. We desperately need the United States that shows a global leadership on the climate emergency in relation to dealing with the virus, on matters of inequality, uh, of trade and of stability. Working together on trade and climate change is what Boris Johnson wants too, even if he can't quite say so today. The challenge will be forging a relationship with a man he's hitherto not even met. Sam Coates, Sky News, Leicester.